In any case, the Javelin missile remains one of the United States' most potent systems on the ground, and one that seems set to increase in capability and be deployed on a greater number of platforms its presence or absence on battlefields around the world will remain both consequential and highly scrutinized. The US-made FGM-148 Javelin is one of the premier portable anti-tank missile systems in the world. It's also an expensive piece of kit, with each missile typically costing more than the targets it eliminates. Still, the infrared-guided Javelin has proven itself in combat in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, and has reliable SH stick that should work on virtually any tank out there. It hits them on the weak top armor. It also exposes its crew to less danger than the typical guided missile system. The Javelin doesn't look as sleek and deadly as its name would have you think. It resembles a clunky dumbbell slightly over one meter in length. Fortunately, you don't need good looks to blow up a tank. The Javelin can also be fired in direct attack mode, useful for hitting targets that are too close for the top attack, or that benefit from top cover, like a bunker or cave entrance. The direct fire mode could also be effective against low-flying helicopters. One of the Javelin's few limitations is its range 2.5 kilometers. Though adequate for most combat situations, older missiles like the Tow or Cornet boast ranges of 5 kilometers or more. Russia is also aware of the Javelin's capabilities, and their latest tanks feature several countermeasures intended to defeat them. New Relict and Mechanit ERA systems feature dual layers of radar-triggered ERA plates designed to defeat tandem charge warheads. The SH Tora and the newer Afton and Active Protection Systems can also deploy soft-kill multispectral grenades and flares designed to obscure the tank from infrared seekers or divert them to other heat sources. One last note of caution when evaluating the Javelin. Though it may be a top-tier anti-tank weapon, it has not yet been used in combat against a modern tank, which is not true of the tow or Cornet missile. During the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, American contribution to Ukraine's fight is the Javelin anti-tank guided missile. Originally designed in the late 1980s, the Javelin is a relatively lightweight and manned portable anti-tank weapon. Boasting a nearly three-mile range, the Javelin is a powerful anti-armor missile. Against armored targets like tanks or armored personnel carriers, the Javelin uses a top attack flight profile in which the vehicle's thinner top armor is targeted. It can also use a direct attack flight mode for buildings, helicopters, or other unarmored targets. Until now, Ukraine's American Javelins were to be deployed behind Ukraine's front lines as a deterrent to separatist armor supplied and sometimes crewed by Russia. The decision to move javelins closer to or even up to the front lines indicates that Ukraine's military is now able to adhere to American end-use monitoring. What constitutes a defensive use of Ukraine's anti-tank missiles is highly debatable. Hypothetical scenarios in which javelins are used to preempt a Russian-backed armor attack are not unimaginable. Either way, having American Javelin missiles closer to Ukraine's front lines serves as a powerful deterrent to Russian-backed separatists to Russia and as a strong affirmation of American and NATO support for Ukraine.